Well, NASCAR Hall of Famer Junior Johnson was in Raleigh today. The racing sport legend is credited for pioneering different styles of racing, but tonight he tells CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janneville he credits his fame and success to bootlegging. Friday, racing fans lined up to meet NASCAR Hall of Famer Junior Johnson. Many wanted autographs or pictures. One fan wanted to see if Johnson remembered her father. That's when he busted Junior Johnson. Before Johnson ever started professionally racing, he was out running the law and souped up cars loaded with gallons of illegal moonshine on North Carolina back roads. But I know that I had a fast car and I was a good driver. And the police couldn't drive a peg in the ground. For years, he outran ATF officers, known as revenuers, in his souped-up cars. He tells me it was a good life, and Johnson was never caught on the road. But eventually, they did catch up with him. I thought he arrested you up and down. Blattner's father and several other ATF agents found the Johnson's family moonshine mill one morning while Johnson was working it. Johnson was sentenced to two years, served a little less than half, and got out on parole. He tells me when he got out, he was done with moonshining. Racing cars was the obvious transition. Easy, easy, because I already had the experience in driving them liquor cars. Decades later, Johnson is a Hall of Fame driver and team owner, thanks to illegal moonshine. <laughs> And his father's recipe that created his life story can easily be picked up in most ABC stores. Johnson says he credits everything in his life to that moonshine. Reporting in Raleigh, A.J. Janavell for CBS North Carolina. And Johnson's father's original recipe is a base for Midnight Moon Moonshine. That's right. The liquor has been made for almost a decade with the same recipe that got Johnson locked up. Wow. All right, well, story. from that racing sport to another sport on the gridiron, looking to repeat but reach a little higher than the year before. Yeah, the goal is high for the Tar Heels as they kick off practice.